Hi guys, it's Jenny with Art for Good. So you've created a beautiful piece and now you might be wondering how you are supposed to seal that or varnish it to ensure, protect, and make those colors really pop. With hundreds and hundreds of products on the market, it can be difficult to figure out what you're supposed to use and what are the benefits of using one over the other. Today, I'm hoping to make that decision a little easier for you. I'm gonna talk about my top three favorite products to use for varnish or sealing and working my way towards my very favorite option that is my go-to that I use 90% of the time. So let's get started. So the first finish that I will be talking about today is resin. And this is that beautiful finish that you see that looks like glass over the, the top of a painting. It is gorgeous, I assure you. As you can see, it's extremely shiny, glossy, and brings out these beautiful colors very well. I will say, Resin is very tricky to work with. Um, I have a whole video here that I will link to that is how to win the war with resin. But to be honest, resin is a little bit of a pain. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of time for this to cure properly. There are risks of having fuzz or pet hair or something bugs landing in the resin and then your piece is essentially ruined. Um, it's very common to get pits in your resin or pieces of your canvas that don't sort of take to the resin properly. So um, this is not one that I usually have been working with lately. Um, I do it on a rare occasion, but it is not my everyday sort of go-to type of varnishing. The next type of varnish that I love working with is Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. This is pretty uh, expensive. It's actually less expensive than uh, resin is, however. But as you can see, it gives a very shiny professional finish. Um, I love that it is liquid form. It dries quickly. You do not have to wait for it to sort of dry for days and days like you would resin. And the only thing I will say with this is that it is common to, because you're applying it as a liquid, to get brush strokes. If you're using a paintbrush with this, you will get brush strokes. Um, what I do is I thin this out with a little bit of water and I actually pour it on top, similar to a paint pour. I pour it on top and tilt it so that the entire surface is covered. And then I let that dry and I do that about three times to get a very thick coat on it. Um, so check this out if you're interested in sort of the shine of resin, but you don't want to go to all the trouble to do it. And lastly, my number one favorite product to use is a spray product. It's Kamar Varnish. This is hands down my go-to favorite. As you can see, it creates a beautiful shine, but it's almost um, muted or it's a, it's a little bit of a matte finish, but it brings out the colors. It's extremely easy to apply. You just spray it on. I do one coat one direction and then I'll do another coat the other direction. I don't even let it sort of dry in between. I just totally saturate the canvas with this spray let it dry it is not sticky afterwards like some spray varnishes will be so this is um, highly recommended unfortunately i think they've been having some supply chain issues so the price of this has uh, gone up to used to be able to find this for about eight dollars a can but now it's gone up to about 20 or so um, still worth it still cheaper than uh, the liquitex version or the resin version well, that's all I have for today. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. It is really the best way that you can support me in being able to provide these types of videos and tutorials for you. I'll see you next time.